Mayor Constantine Anthony, and that is the last card I have at this time. Good evening, board. I don't normally come down here. Uh, the city and the school board, uh, we do have uh, distinct separate governments. But the reason I am here today is because people are upset, things have changed. Um, and my concern um, is giving the residents an understanding that we have a continuation of government, that the city supports you, that we will be moving forward. Yes, changes happen. Yes, things happen. But we have elected leaders who are educated, who know what they're doing, and we support you guys. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. And we're, we'll all be through it together. And OK, I guess I, guess I was wrong. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, I, I understand everybody has opinions. I get it. We're, we're receiving it from all of you today. In this moment, excuse me, Mr. Schlossman, this is your first warning, okay? We are not calling out because what we are doing is modeling the civic process for our young people. And that is everybody fills out a card, everybody gets a voice, and then the discussion occurs. We're not booing people, we're not shouting them down, we're hearing them, and we're learning how to be critical thinkers. That's America. So even if we disagree, with the mayor on items. This is not the forum to boo him. With that, I'm going to let you continue with your, your time. And please, if we can just hold that off. There's other meetings for that. So sorry, but it's true. Thank you, mayor. President Ferguson. Yeah, if you want to boo me, I'm on Tuesday nights. Uh, <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to say, uh, I know some people are concerned about the housing. This is a big issue, and I mean, you guys are just hearing about it. We've been dealing with it for years. I want the, the, the residents to understand that what is happening at the state level is really affecting everything at local government. From Senate Bill 9, Senate Bill 10, Senate Bill 35, Senate Bill 330, Senate Bill 10. I can list all the assembly bills and the Senate bills. Housing is coming. We cannot simply sit by and say we want to keep our our Norman Rockwell white picket fences anymore. And I, I don't boom, I'm not the one signing these bills, but they're coming. We have to act responsibly. We can put mitigation measures in effect. We can look at what it's going to look like and we can make adjustments and protections for the neighborhood. And the city wants to work with you on that. We have ways of mitigating these issues. There are educated people working here and working with the city that know how to deal with this stuff. We're not gonna ruin the city, I promise you, I promise you. We know what's going on. We have people who've experienced this in many other cities that are helping us out. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. Like I said, things change, we work together, and we, we create solutions. Um, yeah. Lastly, I want to congratulate Mr. Becky on her election. Congratulations, well done. Thank and you, Chair. sorry. Thank you. Sir. And um, the only other thing I would say is, I was at Sadaqua Elementary a couple weeks ago. I was at Glendale Unified just last week. I hope and I pray that the same thing doesn't happen here. And I know that we have people in this city that protect our kids, that are elected to make sure they have the best education, that they are elected to make sure we are safe and we are an open and inviting city. And we can tell people the world over that this is a place where everybody belongs. So thank you for the work you're doing and thank you for the work that you're doing. Appreciate it. Thank have you a good so night. Much. Thank you.